Hi, everybody. It's me. It's Life and Vibe. And I think I am finally at the end of my challenge. This is video number 26, day seven of the week long challenge for me to watch and react to every video that Tim has put out. <gasps> and, you know, like, you know, milk that's been left out for a day. This type of content sours after a while. <laughs> so obviously, you just have to pump and dump content all the time, like Tim. Just pump and dump, pump and dump, pump and dump. Well, last thing we knew, uh, Tim was off on his way to Reno. <laughs> but it seems like it's a bust. <laughs> I'm so glad that, that YouTube research that he did uh, was, was helping him make that decision. I think that's probably some of the difficulty that Tim has been having is that he has been using so much of the uh, of YouTube, which obviously I'm a YouTube creator. I'm here on this platform. And so I also use YouTube uh, for educational things. There's lots of really good videos. Um, but it seems that you, uh, Tim here was using it to plan his Reno trip, which may require some other type of planning. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea to get a good idea, but unless somebody's really telling you the ins and outs of like, you know, the price of everything, and that's obviously subject to change. So that type of information is not often included in videos, I'm sure. Um, or maybe it is. I have no idea. Never watched a video about Reno. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can tell it's getting late and I'm just blabbing. Okay, let me just get out my fair use so we can just finish this up. That's a, luckily, it's not too long of a video, so I, I'm appreciating that, Tim. So I'm guessing he went off. Oh, yeah, this is my fair use statement because, you know, I'm going to be transforming Tim's content so he won't be able to come after me for, um, you know, unfairly using his, his amazing content. <laughs> and then again... I just want to say, these are my opinions. This is my commentary. I don't hold any personal dislike for Tim. I just don't think that he is using the YouTube platform in a very good way. I also, well, I do find his, some of his behaviors quite problematic. I just don't personally know him, but I'm sure if we met, we'd just get on great. <laughs> I also am a registered nurse here in the United States. I am trained to be a... Uh, mental health nurse practitioner, but I am not treating or diagnosing Tim. Okay. I just always want to put that out there. So if, uh, the reason why I say this too, I know it irritates people is just in case I start to go into that area talking, people understand that obviously, um, I have some background educationally to speak on these topics, but I try not to, I just try to keep this as my commentary and my opinion. Okay. Tim, let me make me small. Oh, and I also, before I left, sorry, I wanted to thank everybody for their very kind coffee donations that are going to help me continue even tonight with Tim and into next week when I hit my other creator and most importantly for my grad school. So I really appreciate it. And all of those of you who have recognized um, the challenge this week and have been accompanying me on this ride, because I know <laughs> there were many of you in my comment sections who have not necessarily watched everyone, but some of you have done really good. So I appreciate those of you who took on the challenge to watch all of my videos as I took on the challenge of trying to react and make commentary to them all. I am planning to live stream. I'm trying to think uh, it's probably going to be tomorrow. I'll put out the time. I was hoping to go earlier in the morning, but at, since it's late tonight, I may not wake up in time. Um, so I'm starting to think, but I want to kind of, because I want to take a moment to collect my thoughts and, and talk about what I feel have been the big takeaways, uh, after a week of Tim, <laughs> it's been a lot of Tim, a lot of Tim. All right, Tim, let's just get over here. Let's get me small. Let me get this started. I've talked too much already. Uh, make sure you're 1.25. That's a given. It's parking lots behind us, people. It's just, we've had a whole day of parking lots. <laughs> we did get a brief peek at the river, but.
but primarily we've been seeing uh tarmac <laughs> hey how's it going everybody sarasota tim what are you screaming for how many of you beautiful ninety-eight thousand souls out there know you can't believe a damn thing i say i say i say damn arena after i read the comments search for myself and tried to call the guy back i spoke to yesterday okay. uh, regarding 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 staying at the place i was going to go uh they, I guess he's off on Sundays, and they sent me to reservations. Reservations is saying uh, you can only stay two weeks, and then you can't be here for two weeks before you can return, mm. and all this business. And I said, well, I just talked to a guy yesterday. He told me how much it is a month. I guess in, they have restrictions in the summer. I guess they'll, he'll let us know. But maybe they just don't want people there forever <laughs> who aren't spending at the casinos but enjoying the facilities and the amenities. And, and technically, yes, you're paying for your uh, you know, space there. But I'm thinking that many casinos are probably like, you know, anyone staying past two weeks, they're not they're no longer coming in and gambling in our casino any longer. And the casino still wants to make money. So they gotta bring in new gamblers, Tim. They don't want just you trying to find the cheapest spot in town. You're not exactly in the casino spending money. You're walking. You're going to McDonald's with your app on your phone. You are not the desired customer. Okay, as much as you feel like your money is green, you are not the desired customer. And she was some lady, uh, bless her heart, over in somewhere, mm. probably not even in Nevada. I don't know. Oh gosh. Okay. Just reading. Can we not be, um, uh, gosh, I want to use the right word. Oh, goodness. You're being terrible, Tim. <laughs> I'm losing my words. It's getting late. I've had a lot of Tim. But he's being, uh, he's being bad. <laughs> Just don't say that, Tim. You know, people have a right to work, you know. That woman's in her prison job, okay, having to listen to you complain about i thought it was a month i could stay here so give us some 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 grace please tim okay she had to talk to you and that was already off a script for her so i got frustrated with that and i started reading you guys comments and my um my co-pilot was sending me some information and all this other stuff talking to johnny vegas and like i said somebody in the comments said that, you know they they'd never go back there a lot of a lot of um, not very safe this place was right downtown too. A lot of um, a lot of bad there, and not all that in a box of chocolates. And it's far from small and quaint. Remember, it's the biggest little city in the world. And uh, I decided 525 miles, extra dollar a gallon for gas, and danger, and not as good a deals probably. <coughs> well, it's pretty pretty good flight you can get. <laughs> you have got to have that cough scene too. You've got something going on. It's a very interesting. It's kind of a dryish cough. Doesn't sound wet. Do you have a deviated septum, Tim? Well, I miss TN. <laughs> and every time I cough, I got a hernia for sure. Probably from swinging that golf club out of my shoes. A hernia? Um, Inguinal? <laughs> What type of hernia? Why are you getting hernias like that? I mean, that's not good. That means your gut popped out. Potentially. There's different types of hernias. Oh, goodness. I'm even too tired to remember those. Tim, what are you doing to me? So, I'm not going to Reno. Heck with Reno. I can't stay here either because I can't play golf. I do not gamble. My air conditioning and my uh, RV... Here's the deal. Everywhere in the summer, the heat, the hottest part of the day. Tim, I think I understand that people did try to let you know that this was going to happen. And said, this is not the time of the year to start heading out west. But you did it anyway. And now you're in the real pickle over here. Because Miss T supposedly coming out. 
And you still have, you keep saying it's at the end of the month. Well, you don't have but a couple of weeks left until she's due then, unless it's really at the end of the month, like June 30th. And why is she not wanting to be with her family on the 4th of July? You guys haven't broken up. Is it 4 p.m.? Thank you. The coldest part of the day, when they say the overnight low is, is a half an hour before sunrise. So between 3.30 and 5, right around that 4 o'clock hour when it starts to peak, if it gets above, you know, 108 degrees, 110 degrees, you can only cool your unit in, your camper, by 20 degrees ambient temperature. So, you know, get it down to like 90. And so it's not the... It's not the fact that 90 is way better than 110 outside. It's a little uncomfortable for that time. That's not the problem I'm having. The problem I'm having is playing golf outside of over 100 degrees. You know, when I'm in the camper and it's 105, I can cool it down. But I'm not doing anything. And if I'm outside and it's 105, 107, 108, 110, forget it. So I guess Tim's not holding the camera on the selfie stick anymore. I'm, I'm trying to see if he's got uh, two hands on the wheel. <laughs> the one holding the selfie stick. Because I really got at him for that dangerous behavior the other day. Because it was really bad. I mean, he's like switching hands with a selfie stick. It's like, you can't even bother to take the phone off the selfie stick. I'm trying to figure out here. If I see two hands on the steering wheel, I'm obviously looking at his glasses. Or I'm trying to see if I can see the phone. But if he if it stays in one position, then we'll assume that Tim finally decided to put it on his uh, uh his window area and, and just film from there. Rather than who knows. <laughs> so much. Ten minutes. I'm almost there. So tired. I'm bored. I can't I, I want to play golf bad. And I know I'm a great golfer. I say that modestly. I'm a great golfer as an amateur. I played some bad rounds of the last two or three times. Why? Uh -oh. I'll tell you why. No, no. Same thing happened to me years ago. Oh, God, no. He's holding the camera. Look what just happened. <gasps> he went down for something, and the camera went down with him. You need to be concentrating on the road. We don't need 14 minutes of what you just explained about Rena. Could we please focus on the safety of others around us? Because you're an accident waiting to happen, sir. And I know you got one little clink in that call one time already. Or one of the calls you got clinked. Years ago, uh, before I hung up my spurs, I started playing golf again. I was doing really good uh, when I first got here. I mean, I was really stoked about my game. And then I started uh, watching some YouTube golf channels that I haven't watched in years that I haven't played. And it was just, what is rattling in here? Two bullets. Jay left two 380s in here. Oh, great. I'm going back to him. I found him on the floor. <laughs> so. Oh, great. Great. Tim's just got bullets rolling around in his truck. <laughs> I'm sure that's not how you're supposed to carry your bullets, just willy-nilly in the truck like that. I'm sure that's not safe. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, I started, like, trying to change everything up and all of that, trying too hard, thinking too much, swinging out of my shoes. That's why I got a hernia. I'm hurting right now. Um so I'm just going to go back to doing what I do, swinging slow and not thinking about anything. And I just can't wait to get out there again and video it and prove it to you, to me, and the world. I love, love, love golf. And I want to play it bad. And I Loving golf and being good at golf are two different things, Tim. There's a lot of people I know who love golf and play a lot of golf, but they would never last against a top PGA player. <laughs> so... <laughs> there's a lot of people who love golf, Tim, but nobody is, is, you know, you're just trying to prove something. I don't think you're going to get a chance to prove you are so ingrained in playing the way that you've played. And this is what happens when you just go out there and just try to hit the ball all as hard as you can and fling it out to wherever. 
You gotta understand the the fineries of the game, Tim. I don't know if you've got the capacity for that. That's why you've not been doing well. There's thought behind golf, you know. It's a game of concentration. I can't be outside. It's too hot. And then they don't want you to come in after 11. They want you to start at 5.30 in the morning. While I'm an early bird, I don't know about getting up and going down to the golf course and swinging it at 5.30 a.m. Johnny Vegas does. I may have to. But I mean, Tim, if you want, then you just go to bed earlier and set it so you get up earlier in the day so you can have the cooler weather. Maybe a little change wouldn't harm you. Hmm? Unless you just really just can't get up early. Some people aren't early risers. Um, see, Reno, another thing about Reno, let me get back to that. They are coming into their season. I waited too long. Three weeks ago, I should have left here when all these other folks blew out and went north. And so whatever spots that were open, because outside of that one RV park that I was wanting to go, where the guy gave me the price. I called these other ones in Minden and Truckee. Um, some of you had told me about. And uh, a couple of them don't answer the phone because it's Sunday. And the other said... Sorry about that alarm. That was just my uh, reminder to take my antibiotic. <laughs> uh, 450 a week. We're not doing nice. monthly right now because we're coming into our money-making time. We were in snow here a few months ago. And now everybody come, is coming here uh, because it's beautiful. And it's mild weather, and we're going to make all we can. And I get it. They're business people. And so they want a lot of money. And I don't want to pay a lot of money. So, uh, oh, God. and a couple of them told me, we don't even have anything until October. Well, yeah, you're going to have something in October when it snows two feet. Oh, my thing hurts. Oh, I got to go back to Boynton and see the doctor. <laughs> um, oh, God. Because I'm sure they'd be thrilled about that. You need to go see somebody to fix that hernia. Some hernias you don't need to, but some you may want to have repaired. Just depends on the type of hernia. So, uh, hey, there's a human being. I should get one. I'm not. I need water, tuna, and crackers. Miss T said, lose weight, do sit-ups, walk. I'm coming. Be ready. <laughs> so, she's right. I've been eating bad. Oh, who am I talking to, right? The whole world. You guys tell me all the time. So I'm on a new program. I can't do sit-ups at all. Aggravate my hernia. It's been a problem for about three years uh, when I started lifting. Uh... Just don't mix that tuna with mayonnaise. Or tuna with mayonnaise. Oh, my gosh. Ray, you're tired. I'm just going to let Tim talk. I'm mean, too tired to react to you, Tim. <laughs> but I just don't know if tuna and crackers are the, the healthiest thing. I'd like to see a piece of fruit. Just a piece of fruit, like not juice, actual fruit. Does he ever eat fruit? They're kind of heavy weight in the gym, and I knew I, I pulled an something. Day. And so now it's aggravated just from coughing. So um, back to the uh, the Reno. It's real close to uh, Lake uh, Tahoe, and all that's beautiful up there. And I'm not lying. I actually do aim for like an apple a day. That's like my favorite fruit to have in the morning. Sliced apple, little peanut butter. <laughs> Just apples are so good. And not apple juice, apples. And I, I have applesauce too, but that's more for my medications. <laughs> God, I sound so old. <sighs> I might go up there with her and stay at a campground in Lake Tahoe and, and do something like that when she gets here. But she's two weeks away from today and... Vegas has got the most flights, uh, the best deals to come in. Her rump is outside of Vegas, has a couple of RV parks, but there's nothing there. There's a couple of golf courses too. Uh, but going into Vegas to find golf courses, they're expensive. And there's 5 million people. That's like going to West Palm Beach. I mean, there's so many people in Las Vegas. Oh, yeah. It's a big city. And then um, the Reno thing, when I, when I said I, I called Minden and Truckee and this one and that one, I said, we, 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 don't, we don't have anything. We're, we're not into October or we want 450 a week. We're not doing any monthly deals. You know, uh, nice try. So, and they were all happy to tell you that too. They're just sitting there breaking it in. And so I don't know where the... Uh, where <laughs> <gasps> Nobody else can rake it in but Tim. Only Tim can rake it in. Only Tim can rake it in on the buy me a coffee, on the YouTube AdSense, on the Amazon affiliate links. 
Only Tim can rake it in. But if anybody else is asking for Tim to part with his money, heck no. That's why your kids didn't have health insurance, Tim. That was terrible. Leaving your children without health insurance? What type of father were you? <laughs> terrible. The recession is because people are out there jamming up these uh, casinos. I know I showed you some. They were kind of dead, but they're busy today. <laughs> And they're busy on the weekends. Vegas. You saw Vegas. I mean, they're constantly coming in there. Lots of disposable cash. And uh, the golf courses are still demanding, you know, 50 to to $100 or more for a round of golf. And I can do that one time, but I want to play multiple times. So I don't want to pay that. Also. Well, that's why you, you join a country club. <laughs> or a golf community with a golf course that you get access to the golf. There's a lot of golf uh, clubs in this area, and people are members of them. You know, that's why people join memberships to golf clubs rather than just paying to do single single rounds places. You know, and I think even then you may have to pay. Who knows? I don't know. There are fancy ones in my area. We got the Cavalier, and we got the Princess, uh, the, and the and we got the the other one. <laughs> I don't know. There's a lot. A lot of different golf clubs. I can't even remember the, all the names of the country clubs in this area because I'm so tired. Uh, back to Reno, uh, Carson City, that's not going to work. So here's where I'm at. I can either sit here and drive to Kingman, which has got a great forecast, and play that. I'll play that course every day and go up to uh, play that one. Maybe there's another one up there too I could try. Weather's great. Pay the rent here, uh, not be here between you know 3 30 and 5 when the 112 degrees and the air conditioning doesn't work good and be up there or I can go to senior city Cedar City of where I have a great deal waiting for me on the uh, RV place and there's a lot of golf uh, just south at St. George and that is really I mean I, I'm, I'm excited about cool mornings and nice weather Make sure you find out how much the golf courses cost at St. George. Because if you get there and find out that the courses are expensive, you'd be paid off, Tim. Gosh, it's all about his golf, his this, his that. Uh, you know, if I felt that Tim had been somebody who really worked hard for his life, I'd be okay. This guy's just play, play, play. Can't even, you know, <sighs> Miss Tammy, you're a fool. But that's okay. It's drama. I'm not excited about here for the story. hernia right now, though. For some reason, it's really um, on me right now. So anyway, tomorrow morning, I got to make this decision because tomorrow is rent. I don't know. I have I've seen some of your dietary choices, and I would think that probably part of your energy issues may be that you're just not choosing good food to fuel yourself. You know, not all food is created equal in the respect that it's actually beneficial nutrition that will give you energy to, to do things throughout the day. Just saying. Rinse do. So it's crap or get off the pot. And I got to figure it out. Why would you ride a motorcycle, my friend? Is he? <laughs> oh, man, I'm worried about myself. Well, that might be his only form of transportation. And also when he's actually, you know, just, oh my goodness, Tim. <laughs> People say I'm judgmental. <laughs> now I'm listening to Tim. He says something about anybody passing around him. Leave other people alone. They're not even side characters in your story. <laughs> 3,000 miles away from my disadvantage plan. Oh, well. Oh. There's a guy here. He, him and I. We're very close um, together. Here are two big trucks. This is a yeah, big that's another park. thing. You can't park this anywhere. So your health insurance is obviously for the state of Florida. So were anything to happen like with that hand yesterday, you would be paying out of network if you had to go to a doctor's office. That's one of the reasons why people like Medicare sometimes, because I think it's more transportable. That's why, you know, if you are an individual who is retiring and is considering traveling a lot, I think Medicare is the better choice from what I understand. 
because it's more portable. Whereas when you get one of these insurance advantage plans, they're often to the state. So they're good, but they're not good if you're somebody who likes to travel. Or you're going to have to have much, you know, better insurance or secondaries or whatever. There's a lot to think about in this country. It's not, it's, you know, we pretty much have to figure it out on our own. Pay for it on our own. We don't have these you know, national health systems and stuff that allow us to not worry about these things. You got to think about these things, Tim, and you're 65. Just think if you had this hernia or something happens to you and you have a catastrophic medical event and you are out of state and you are out of, of network for your insurance, it's, bill would 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 annihilate your finances especially if you ended up in a hospital it's very expensive to be sick in the united states very expensive and i this is coming from a healthcare worker that's just a system that there's so many fingers in the pies and so many different administrators this that i mean it's a huge system it's a huge system and so, and, and it's not inexpensive. And so I think this kind of shows your lack of, of forethought and planning, Tim, is that at this age, you should have made, you shouldn't be out traveling like this unless you selected Medicare, like regular Medicare, you know, when I traveled as a nurse, I paid to make sure that I had the insurance with my agency. Was it cheap? No, it was not because I needed to have a PPO that I could carry around in lots of different places and not be really out of network. So they had to give me good insurance and I paid for it out of pocket. I'm cheap, but if I needed it, it was there. I needed it maybe one time the whole entire time that, but it was there because I was driving, I was traveling. Anything can happen. Anything. If you have an accident, you'll be the one initially probably having to take care of your medical bills until you can figure it out with the other person's insurance company. If they were the cause of the accident. If you cause an accident, it's going to be on you. I just don't think that's very small. I think in reality, if that's the case, the plan should be to head back to Florida where your insurance covers you. You really aren't making small choices, Tim. If I didn't have that camper, I wouldn't have this truck. I'd have a small little Honda Accord or something. <laughs> but that's not my life. But my life's going to change. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? You have the RAV4 and the Wolf Pup. Now you're back down into a sedan, and then you just got this big truck for the pulling around the RV? And, and then you're, you're doing it without any real health insurance coverage as you roll around? I don't, I'm sure Jay and his wife are making, hopefully, such bad decisions. It is one of those unfortunate things in this country is that the insurance is not portable to every state. So if you go out of state and you have an accident or something unfortunate happens, you're out of network. And then you're just... you. You, it's catastrophic in this country, unfortunately. That's why I'm always so surprised when people are eating right or wanting to make good choices with their health uh, just because it's so expensive here. <laughs> it's like always been my goal is like, I have to take care of myself. This <laughs> It's so expensive. No one to take care of me. So I have to. I have to take care of myself. Can't expect others to do it. I mean, I've spent days just, shoot, I've been post-surgical with no help. <laughs> and uh, we're going to talk about that in the coming days. I kind of have a plan of where, uh, back in Florida, <laughs> what a shocker, right? That uh, we're going to look for to live. And, well, there goes my microphone over here. Let me get it off the seatbelt. Huh? Why would you put it on the seatbelt? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, his skin is very rough. Oh, testing one, two, three. <laughs> so, uh, a lot of time out in the sun. Go to Cedar City. 
play golf in St. George and a couple of courses around Cedar City. Just get back. Stay here. Go back to Florida. Another, guess what? Guess what's going to happen? The closer I get to July and August, the hotter it gets. <laughs> it's just like the forecast here every day is 107 plus. Right now, my truck says 108. So why are you out in these over here? I mean, God, you couldn't have stayed closer on the East Coast? Cruise up and down the Blue Ridge Mountains? I guess you already did that. Gosh, up the Smokies? <laughs> Something? Instead of taking yourself so far from where your health insurance is covered? That is starting to concern me more, especially that cough and that hernia you just talked about. Oh, you've been lucky, mate. And the hand thing yesterday? Mm, I wonder how the hand's doing. She stapled it to a target. <laughs> Sorry. Thought I started him. All right, Tim, you don't got much longer. Eight. Very bad choices all around. That's too hot. That's too hot. So I haven't done anything to bat batten down the hatches yet. I'll have to get busy tonight, start folding stuff up if I'm going to leave. I only have a four-hour drive to go to Cedar City. And, man, I probably won't regret it when I get up there and I feel like 59 to 62 degrees in the well, we haven't seen any more videos, so either Tim is packing or he's out to dinner with Jay and Bev and has decided to stay. I almost wish I could put a poll out and ask people, which one do you think Tim is doing? Staying in, in uh, Laughlin or moving over to Cedar City? I don't know. The one thing I know is I won't be making a reaction video. Maybe to that one. We'll see. <laughs> I've got some other stuff tomorrow. So I may not be reacting to Tim tomorrow. I'm just going to do a, a Tim live stream. Though I may bring in one of his videos as I do the roundup of Tim live stream. So we'll, maybe I'll make a choice of which one of the videos that he's released for the day that I would want to bring into a live stream. And we've also had recommendations. Uh, thank you, uh, according to David, or the universe according to David, who also has a channel and makes commentary around Tim. So check him out. Had recommended that we should get together, uh, you know, Darling, Blind Views, Barium Exposure, Dino, me, uh, LOL, all, Olive Oil, all of us. <laughs> I hope I'm saying that right. LOL, Olive Oil. I think I am. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, would love to see us all on a panel discussing Tim. So whoever wants to host it, I don't know if my uh, internet can take all that. <laughs> but uh, I know that uh, it would be a blast. <laughs> I would I will have blind views run, run the show. <laughs> all right, Tim, take it away. I'm thinking about other fun stuff I'd rather do with other uh, people in the hater community. <laughs> the morning uh, before it warms up to like 80 and 90. I think you got a couple of 95 days, but I never welcomed 95 anymore. We're not actually not haters. What we are are people who are concerned that this gentleman is a cult of personality and is, is misleading people with some really poor information. Not only did he do very bad gun safety yesterday, he is having uh it seems medical stuff going on and yet he's not in the state which is covered by his insurance and at 65 tim tim i know you're trying just to get out here and live your life i feel like you've been living your life always though <laughs> maybe not particularly wealthy but you've had enough just to get by just to keep happy i think tim doesn't like the responsibilities you're gonna hate oh more in my life than this 110, 112 degrees. So something's going to happen, but no Reno. Reno is a no. Um, 525 miles in one day or two days. And, you know, uh, my uh, my friend Jay was talking about what about running your generator and boondocking. I'm like, nah, nah. That generator was bought just to uh, go from point A to point B. And I needed to have electricity you know, in between. I want full hookups. I want a nice place. I don't want to be all jammed in. And that's what Cedar City's got. They got a nice place for me. So I guess that's what it's going to be. But you know what I'm saying? You can't leave a damn thing I say. Crush it. Goodness me. Hello, everybody. You
are correct, Tim. We cannot believe anything you say. <laughs> Which is why it becomes so problematic with sometimes these channels. Because obviously when it's somebody who's documenting or vlogging their life, if you may. Because I guess Tim, for all wants and all needs and purposes as a vlogger. Uh, we'll give out a lot of, you know, just talk and talk. And uh, and what I have always felt is that if you're going to talk about a plan, you go through with a plan. I mean, I, I must admit, I have said things and I'm like, oh, I'm going to go off and do this. And, you know, obviously things, my mind has changed. Like recently I wanted to move out of the area and I wanted to sell my condo. I wanted to not be too far from where I am now, but Wanted to be more in the country, quieter area. I live in, a, obviously, a city. Um, and I live right in the resort area. So I'm like, I just want to get out. Now, obviously, I wanted to get, like, halfway between kind of Virginia Beach and Washington, D.C. I just kind of wanted to be kind of, you know, but on a river. Because there's so much waterways. Well, you know, unfortunately, I did go visit a town. I looked at some places. The town wasn't great fit for me. And so I've looked at places and then I changed my mind. So my friends are like, oh, you changed your mind. Well, I was like, you know, I just need to finish out grad school and and not be trying to throw a move into everything at the moment. <laughs> it just, But I did go and take a look. I was very serious because they had sold two places in my neighborhood like in less than a month. So I was like, dang, I could get this place sold, hopefully have enough equity to put down on a place and just go mortgage free, you know. But no, that dream didn't happen. I'm back at school, which is it is better actually. <laughs> um, to just not try to do, I couldn't have done school in a move. You see, I would have had to have moved and then go to school, but then it would have been more time. I would have been out of school, so it just didn't make sense in the end. And I was already most of the way through my graduate program, um, and unfortunately, with my illness and stuff, I and I had to drop. And uh, just a few months, but now I'm trying to get back. Oh, well, I've been back in. So anyway, God, I'm tired. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you all for having joined me on this Tim adventure. I don't think we have any more videos to do. It was 26 altogether. <laughs> Very tired and my voice is starting to go. So I just appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you for all your wonderful comments, all the support, all the people who've been watching and sharing this journey along with me. It has been appreciated. Don't worry, Tim. I haven't forgotten you. I thank you, too, for all the content that you have provided this week and for all the things that you have taught me. Because there are some takeaways that I will discuss, but not till tomorrow. All right, guys. I really appreciate you all. I'm going to put in my you know, classic subscribes, you know, make sure if you haven't had a chance, subscribe to the channel. We're growing and I really appreciate it. <laughs> I don't know what message I'm getting out there, but I appreciate it. It's obviously not the messages of positivity like Tim. And of course, all my wonderful channel members who have taken the time to join the Life and Vibe community. We're just a growing community of trolls and haters over here. <laughs> now, actually a lot of people who with uh, medical degrees actually. I know, shocking. <laughs> we got a lot of really cool people in the community. So yeah, if you ever want to catch us, come see us in a live. All right, guys, you know what we're going to do.